Today, we're going to be taking a look at the paired Wilcoxon signed rank test. Uh, this video is going to cover a little bit about the background behind the test as well as the manual calculation. And then we're going to jump into the Python coding side of things. We're going to use NumPy as well as SciPy to go through a few different examples. But before we do start coding, let's go over a little bit of the background behind this test. All right, so some more information on the Wilcoxon signed rank test, the paired version. Um, should also note there is the one sample as well that is on the YouTube channel already. So if you're looking for Wilcox in one sample, it's out there. But anyways, you use the sign ring test when you have two related samples and you're measuring the fact of some sort of like an intervention, right? Um, so like a, a cl classic example is before and after a training program. Let's say you're trying to get a faster 5k time and uh, right, you want to see the times beforehand, the times after for a running um, the Wilcox and sign ring test is the alternative to the paired t-test and we use this when the differences between the pairs the before and after are not normally distributed so the null hypothesis on this would be like the mean uh, differences between the paired ex examples to zero implying there is no significant change or differences between the two paired measurements the alternative hypothesis the median difference between the, the paired samples is not zero there's also a two-tailed and one-tailed version. Uh, the two-tailed is just implying that there's uh, some sort of difference. One-tailed will tell you the specific direction. Uh, how you would want to do this step-by-step. Step. First, you want to confirm there's a non-normal distribution with Shapiro Wilk. Uh, if it is a normal distribution, I wouldn't recommend using the Wilcox and sign rank test. Then you want to calculate the pair of differences, remove any zeros, rank the absolute differences, assign signs to the ranks, sum the sign ranks, and find the, the test statistic. There's a, there's a lot here, so let's go through some examples. So uh, what we're going to look at for this first example is the miles run by uh, first time 100 mile runners three and two weeks before a race. Like, and the reason why we're looking at week three and week two is typically runners taper before a longer race, a marathon or farther distance, right? And we want to see if any of these runners are tapering. Uh, between weeks three and two. So the null I hypothesis would be the median difference between the weekly miles run by first 100 mile runners is zero. The alternative hypothesis, the median difference between the weekly miles run by first time 100 mile or runner, race runners is not zero. Um, we're also going to have the assumption that this the difference is non-normal. We're going to skip Shapiro Wilk. Uh, for this, we'll go through that in the Python side of things. Hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. Um, just to give you context, I recently ran 100 miler, so uh, I started tapering around week three. Uh, so I kind of thought it'd be a cool idea for to throw this in here for a video. Um, all right, let's take a look at these data points, right? So like this runner here ran 90 miles in week three, and then week two ran 60 miles. Ideally week one, probably running 30 miles or 20 miles up before this race. That way you have fresher legs. Uh, so we have all the miles week three on the left, and we have miles week two on the right, we subtract them and we find the differences across over here. Um, so you can see mostly um, positive differences, right? And then you do have some negative. Some runners decided to ramp up their miles at the very end. Maybe they didn't prep enough for this race and you know they decided to add an extra miles at the end, which doesn't work, but uh, regardless you have those. And then you have someone that just is consistent at 72 miles every week, I respect it. And uh, there's no difference, right? So now we need to remove the zero differences. Well, the, the data point for being 72 is gone now. And then we need to rank the absolute differences and assign the signs to the ranks. So here's all of our differences, right? With the zero removed, we have the absolutes associated with them, which is gonna be the positive value. We rank them a one through a nine, and then we assign the rank, right? Uh, the last two are gonna be negative because there's a negative difference. The rest are just gonna be positive. All right, and now we just have to sum up W plus and then W minus. Um, all the positive ranks, they add up to 36. All the negative ranks, they sum up to negative nine. And finally, we find our test statistic of W and W is just taking the absolute value of both of these. Uh, the plus is still gonna be 36. The minus is now gonna be nine. And then we take the minimum of those and the minimum is nine. So that's gonna be our test statistic W. And finally, we get a p-value of 0.109. And since the p-value is greater than the common significance level 0 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. This, res this result suggests the median difference between the weekly miles run by first time 100 mile race runners is zero. 
Uh, really, those last two kind of messed it up. But regardless, uh, that is our example. Uh, I'll show you this manual example also with Python, just so that way we double check uh, the work. And then I'll show you some shortcuts, which always we have to love shortcuts. So uh, with this out of the way, make sure you grab your Python notebook and let's start coding. All right, let's get going. So from scipy.stats import Will Coxon, also Shapiro, and then import NumPy as NP. I'll run those over here and then uh, get going. So also for the video, I'm gonna just set an alpha value of 0 0.05. Hopefully you guys are okay with that and uh, you know change it if you want to, but that's what I am gonna use. So let's take a look at our first example one. And this is going to be based off of the example I just showed you, but this is going to be Python code showing how to manually do it. So I'm just going to paste in my values over here. We have week three, right? NP to array. We have a bunch of values inside over here. And then we have week two as well. Feel free to pause the video and grab all these values and uh, we'll get going. So first thing we need to do is find our differences, right? So what we're going to do is differences equals, and then we're going to take week three. So week three minus week two, right? Basic, awesome, done. Great. And just to print these out, print out our differences over here. All right, here's our differences, okay? Should line up exactly what we had in the slides. Now, what we want to do first is find our non-zero differences. So we'll say non-zero differences. We're going to say that's equal to differences over here. Right, and inside over here, you're gonna say differences not equal to zero, basic like that, right? And that'll remove that last zero value over here. And if we print that out, you can see it's gone. So we're looking good. Uh, now we wanna do is we're gonna find our absolute differences. So we'll say absolute differences, differences, equals and we'll say np.absolute, np.abs, and then just pass in our non-zero differences like this over here. And uh, we can print out that too, just to show you that our last two values are now gonna be positive, right? Positive values, it's great. And then what we wanna do is now start finding some ranks. So we'll say ranks equals np.arg sort, np.arg sort, and then over here, we're gonna say np.arg sorts, apps, differences, and then we're gonna go on the outside and say plus one, right? Because we wanna start our ranks at one, not zero. And just to print out our ranks, right? Uh, let's get that over here, print it out. You can see we start at one, and that's why we had to add that one to the pre end. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna find our positive ranks and then our negative ranks. So we'll say positive ranks, positive, ranks equals ranks inside over here we'll have non-zero differences just double check yeah like that and uh, we're gonna look for those that are greater than zero and then we're going to duplicate this and we'll have the negative ranks so negative ranks and then just flip this over here great and we'll run both those positive ranks and negative ranks all right and now to find our w values so we'll say w plus equals np.sum and then we'll say positive ranks that and then uh, we'll have other side of things we'll grab that we'll say w minus and we'll grab our negative ranks negative ranks not negative ranks ranks and then we'll get our test statistic. We'll say test stats equals, and we'll have them in uh, between W plus and W minus. So and this should line up with what we had in the video and we should get the value of nine. So print out our test stats, right? And you can see that we have a value of nine and that's awesome. So the way that we can shortcut this and um, there's no other easy way to get the p-value for Will Coxon, as we'll say stats, and we'll say p-value equals Will Coxon, 
just a little coxin and then just pass in our differences from earlier um so those are differences like that and this will confirm our p-value of uh 0.109 just to print out this print print out our p-value like that and see 0.109 and if we print out our stat we should also get the value of nine and you can see 9.0 awesome so what we can also do is write an if else statement uh, if p value less than alpha the median difference between the weekly miles right the same stuff i've already covered already an outro of the slides the median difference between the weekly miles run by first time 100 mile runners is zero right uh, we didn't have enough to reject that null hypothesis so there's that example. Let's take a look at example number two over here. And uh, this time we're going to take a look at strikeouts. So strikeouts uh, for two seasons. Two seasons. And let's jump into it. So all of strikeouts one over here, or season one, I should say, 220, 195, 210, 230, 185, 240, 200, 215, 225, and then what we'll have next is season two, 215, 198, 205, 225, 190, 235, 202, 220, 218, and 220. So uh, run those numbers over here. And next, what we're gonna do is find our difference between them. So we'll say strikeout diff equals, and we'll have season two minus season one. So season two minus season one, right? There's that side of things. No, didn't mean to do text, meant to do another code. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is run the Shapiro test. Talked about it before. I have the video on the channel, so if you wanna learn a lot more about it, check that out. Um, but this is a quick way to determine if something uh, follows a normal distribution, right? And uh, what we're gonna do is say stats, which we aren't gonna use. So we're gonna only use the Shapiro p-value. So Shapiro p-value. And that's going to be equal to Shapiro. And then we're going to pass in our strikeout diff, right? Uh, we want to look, take a look at the normality of the difference. So that's what we're going to take a look at over here. And then we care about our p-value. I want to have that under 0.05. And we're good to continue with the Wilcoxon signed ring test. And you can see um, I tailored the data to make sure it's under 0.05. It's 0.008. So we're good to go, right? And... Uh, can write it if else if you want, right? Data is not normally distributed, reject. So there we go, awesome. And now all we need to do is run our Wilcoxon. So that shortcut I showed you at the end, right? Stats and it'll say p-value equals Wilcoxon, then pass in the differences, uh, which we already did over here, right? The strikeout diff, so grab that, pass that in over here, and then you can just print out this p-value. So print out value on that side of things and you'll see the value on here is 0.232 so write our if else statement right if p-value less than alpha reject the null hypothesis fail to reject and we fail to reject the null hypothesis right uh, we don't see any difference in the strikeouts between season one and season two and for this example right i kept it kind of vague but let's say like a team brought in a new pitching coach and you wanted to see if the new pitching coach would lead to a difference in strikeouts well we don't have enough evidence to support that based off of this. So that is the Wilcoxon paired sign test. And yeah, hope you guys learned something new. Hope you guys were able to find this video on the paired Wilcoxon sign ring test helpful. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're uploading at least three different data science focus videos every single week. Now, if you want to continue your studying on stats, I have a few videos linked down below in the description and a playlist that you can check out right over here.